You know, dozens of big name stars from the 60s and 70s are said to be worried that they could be implicated in the Jimmy Savile scandal. PR consultant Max Clifford says he's been approached by a number of entertainers who are concerned about allegations being made against them because of the lifestyle they lived in the past. Well, let's talk to Max. He's in Walton on Thames in Surrey this morning. How many celebs are we talking about here, Max? Um, I would say <clears throat> at the moment, Stephen, probably between a dozen, a um, dozen, maybe 14, 15, not just this country, but in other countries in the States, and not just the stars themselves, but, you know, some managers that are concerned about their stars that they represent, um, who were big stars in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and can barely remember what they were doing last year, let alone 30 years ago or more. So there's a lot of people that are anxious um, and they just call me and say, Max, will you keep us in the picture? And if you hear our names being mentioned or anybody's uh, asking questions, will you please let us know? Anxious? Well, I mean, what exactly about? I mean, say that they're worried about being <coughs> implicated in this scandal. Well, I mean, <coughs> are they coming up with any specifics for you? No, and they don't need to, Stephen. Look, 60s and 70s, everything exploded. The music explosion in this country, which of course was worldwide, social, huge social change. Young guys that suddenly were working in a factory and then the following week they were pop stars. You know, everywhere they went there was young girls throwing themselves at them in dressing rooms, in, in hotels, in uh, at concert halls, at gigs. It was that kind of time. So, you know, a lot of them don't remember exactly what went on and it was going on in a vast scale all over Britain, all over the world. But there was a lot of people around these people, the Jimmy Savills of this world, that saw opportunities and manipulated the situation to suit themselves. But there genuinely is a lot of anxiety. I mean, Freddie Star phoned me several times. I used to work with Freddie a long time ago. Sorry about the plane. But Freddie said to me, look, Max, you know, I've done nothing. There was absolutely nothing I ever did. But I'm worried to death. You know, I've got a bad heart. You know, I'm, I'm in a real state. Um, there's a lot of people that are very, very worried but, about what's going on. And as I say, in, in no small way, Stephen, because many of them can't remember what they were doing, as I say, a year ago, let alone all that time ago. I mean, it's quite disturbing, though, isn't it? I mean, we are, as, as you say, it was... <laughs> We do need to put it in context. It was a different time, but we are talking about people, are we, who are saying, you know, they may have, what, inadvertently had sex with someone who was underage and not realised it. Look, if you're if you're 19, 20, suddenly you become a pop star, and suddenly a dozen girls burst into your dressing room, changing room, or whatever, and that's the kind of thing that did and, and would happen you don't actually sit there and ask for birth certificates. You know, they're worried, they're concerned, you know, they don't remember exactly how, what, where. And of course, all of this thing has burst out now, you know, hundreds of people have come forward about Jimmy Savile. A lot of these people knew Jimmy Savile, met Jimmy Savile, worked because he introduced them on television, et cetera, et cetera, or introduced girls to them by a way of just nothing more than introduction. I don't mean for sex, but, you know, this is such and such. And, of course, these girls were very grateful to Jimmy Savile for making all those introductions. So you can see why there's a lot of concern out there um, from a lot of people. As I say, you know, the last few days I've had an awful lot of calls and I expect to get a lot more. Some of them from very famous people who in the 60s and 70s were, you know, in the middle of this whole explosion music explosion um, in this country. Again, I, I want to keep it within context. We don't want to make any allegations at all, Max, as you should be fully well aware. But, We're not. I mean, but, but are you compromising yourself in any way by, in effect, stepping between the breach here for some of these people who may, by their, their own admission, may have, inadvertently, we'll say, had sex with people who were underage? No, look, it's very simple. You know, I'm, I'm very close friends with a lot of these people and have been for 40, 50 years. So they know that I'm in the middle of the media world, so I'm the first person that they turn to, not just on this subject, but lots of subjects. You know, what's going on and what are people saying? Um, but obviously, if you do hear anything about me, 
will you please let me know? Or the manager saying, will you please let me know if you hear anything in that context? Because obviously these people, their, their lives often, you know, purely depend on popularity and public perception. And often there's a lot of things that are put out there that have got nothing to do with reality, but can be very damaging. And that attitude, you get no smoke without fire. So forewarned is forearmed. You know, we just would like to know what is going on and what is being said and if our names are mentioned in any context to do with Jimmy Savile, the BBC, all of these things that are now coming out, will you please let us know? Uh, what does this tell us about life in, you know, way back then, in the, in the 60s and 70s, the, the sort of things that were going on in the showbiz circles? Because I seem to recall that you yourself in your, in your biography, Max, talked about some of the, you know, the, the, the seedier side of life back then. Well, I mean, none of us saw it as seedier. You know, it was, it was something that um, a good time was being had by an awful lot of people, and everybody at the time seemed to be very happy about what was going on. And I can only say from everything that I ever saw and experienced that the young girls were extremely anxious to be part of these things. Obviously, what we don't know now is that some of the things that went on, the, the parties, uh, the, uh, the dressing rooms, the TV studios, you know, were these girls 19, 20, 21 or younger? And of course it was 40, 50 years ago. But a lot of people are worried because they know what went on. They know what they were caught up in. You know, it, it's pretty much common knowledge, especially around the music industry and television industry, the kind of things that were going on regularly during the 60s and 70s and possibly the 80s. So you can understand why there is that concern. So those people that have been talking to you are, are anxious, though they don't believe that they've done anything wrong. I mean, would they be happy to talk to the police? I mean, is that what they're telling you, what their managers are telling you? Yeah, they're all saying that they were totally unaware and they themselves have never done anything remotely like Jimmy Savile. And that's exactly what Freddie said to me. He's totally innocent of these allegations. But naturally, they're concerned because a lot of names are being mentioned. You know, I mean, I've had journalists phone me for many, many days saying, oh, do you know anything about this one? Do you know anything about that one? We've heard a rumour about this one. We've heard... Probably 95% of it is all total nonsense, but it's happening, and they're aware it's happening, and they're obviously concerned, and they want to be the first to know that if someone is putting their name in the frame, someone, a, a, a producer is saying, well, I saw this, or a young girl is saying that, then please let us know, because we want to know straight away. OK, to Max... Me, that's common sense. I mean, and it happens in lots of areas, you know. Max Clifford, good to talk to you. Thank you. I did, yes, but, sir. you know, you see what I mean? No problems at all. Yeah. As long as they're not interfering with little kids, so absolutely no problems. Mm -hmm. Because I know that the truth would destroy them, and they mm -hmm. don't deserve that. Mm -hmm. um, so I create a false image. You see, I'm deceiving people, I'm lying, for sure. But to me, it's the same kind of lie when you've had your dinner party and the host said, did you enjoy the meal? And you think, well, it was awful. What you say it was lovely, did you? It's that kind of situation. Where do you get your inspiration from? Because some of it's marvellous. I mean, the, uh, the, from the what? From the public. The Chelsea football shirt, and the David Mather, etc. Or um, um, the Harkis Coven with Alan Clark. But again, you see, they come to me. The horse with me. Yeah. They come to me. I don't go yeah. to them. They come to me, and we go from there. I suppose when you But you managed to persuade a joke to uh, I should have him, or I would have him horse with. I thought there was, I always thought it was his, I not No, I, I think, I think that, um, uh, I, I mean, you know, things I get credited with, it's like Alan Clark. I mean, the wonderful piece of that was when she, Mrs. Clark, started talking about below stairs. Oh, yes, yeah. Nothing yeah. to do with me, but wonderful. Straight out of upstairs. No, I mean, couldn't have written a script for yeah. it to make it even better and to inflame it, and, and he enjoyed that whole thing. Alan Clark loved the whole thing. Mm. Um, I mean, the only thing that, about it that, you know, you, you, you had, they made a lot of money out of it. He'd use them, so they wanted to make money out of it and have a moan, so they did. He enjoyed it. He sold even more books. The only slightly serious side about it was that he'd actually interfered with those girls from the age of 14. That wasn't publicised. No, 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 it didn't come out. No. No, because by the time the pair of them came over here, you know, most of the time they were totally pissed and mother and daughter were fighting each other to get on this television show and turned into a farce and a pantomime. Must been quite, I never saw them. It must have been quite a combination. I mean, it's all It was, but the whole thing was, and, and most of the things are, when you know 
what's really going on and what the, I mean, it, it's, it's the funniest thing, which is why it will be intriguing if Marks and Brand, you know, Lawrence and Morris, and Birds of a Feather and all that. Yes. Yeah. Well, they're doing a TV series mm -hmm. yeah. based on me. How are they? Yeah. And of course I can bring out the stories and the adventures and yeah. just change it around, it's all yeah. fiction. Yeah. I think it's a fictional character, yeah, who's, playing, who's playing you all that fictional um, character? Possibly Adam Faith, I don't know. Oh, he's good friends, isn't he? Yeah, he's been great since 1958. Mm. Um, in fact, he was here. Uh, I don't know, it's all in the melting pot, that's up to them. Mm. But that could be funny, because that then would give me the perfect scenario to bring out the truth. People wouldn't know it to be the truth. But with and you move it around, it's not a politician, it's a pop star. Mm. But what happened is exactly, and people are thinking, yeah. I can't believe that, no way. I say, I never write the book, you know, I'll write the funny stories one day. But because I don't want to, um, you know, it's, it's never been my nature. That's really. also the defamation risk, I mean, unless you have... No, it, that's, that's easy for me, because I've got all the evidence. I'm the one that's hidden it from the world. I know where everything is and where all the evidence is. Where do you keep it? I mean, it's <laughs> not very safe. It's, it's not in the cupboard. No, 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 no. It's a long, long, long way from here, I can promise you. But, sure. but you see my point, and that's why I have such a good relationship with the people I work with, because yeah. 10, 20, 30 years go by, and no, no one in the world knows. Mm. And I could have retired on one of these things. Mm. These allegations are damaging and totally untrue. On a personal level, they are very distressing for myself, my wife, my family and loved ones. Anyone who really knew me all those years ago and those who have known me since will have no doubt that I would never act in the way I have today been accused. I have nothing further to add. What are the allegations? How old are the allegations, Matt? I think um, 1977. That was 35 years. So. Who's making the allegations? That's all I'm going to say. The allegations are totally untrue. And I need to go into a car, I think. Okay, but that's all I want to say. And I've made my position very, very clear. They're totally untrue and very damaging. Thank you. 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 Thank you.